So Peyronie's, for those of you who don't know, is basically when your penis starts to get an abnormal curvature. Um, I don't want to show any pictures of actual Peyronie's patients because uh, YouTube would probably shut me down. But if you can imagine a penis that's kind of abnormally curved this way or curved up um, or curved to the side, I see that one a lot, lateral curvature, that, that's basically what tends to happen. And it usually starts out where one day you look and you notice a small curve. And then as time goes by, you start to notice that it's swerving a little more. Um, and then unfortunately for some guys, it's actually a painful thing. Um, so it interferes with sex life. It interferes with erectile function and, um, you know, and, and then it becomes, uh, a, a insecure an insecurity, you know, cause every time you look down, you see it. And so, um, I feel for guys who are suffering with Peronis and, um, I got a, a message in my inbox about it. So a few things about Peronis that I want to make clear. There is something out there that urologists and your doctors may try to get you take, to take called Zyaflex. And what that is is collagenase. And it, it's basically something you, you put on the area that's designed to dissolve collagen. So it's designed to dissolve the collagen fibers, which have become thick, which have created a plaque, which makes everything curve, right? I'm not a fan of Zyaflex um, because I've seen some, you know, negative outcomes with it, uh, you know, because it's, it's collagenase. So it's also breaking up the collagen in your skin. So, you know, I've seen hematomas develop and I'm just not a huge fan of it. But what I am a fan of in terms of the science and practicality, it is one, we know for a fact, uh, there was a study done where they studied guys who had Peronis. And what they did is they had them pump now this is a lot of pumping, 10 minutes, twice a day for 16 weeks. And what they did at the end of the study is they actually measured to see how much is straightened out, how much the curve was and everything. And the results of the, the study were phenomenal. Guys curves straightened out. Um, the ones that didn't, some of them opted to get surgery, but the ones that did, and I want to say it was about 60 to 70% of them straightened out. They were comfortable and happy enough with the changes that they didn't go through with the surgery to remove the plaque. So that's one thing. Another thing is um, the pea shot. What we're doing when we're doing a pea shot is we're taking your own plasma and spinning it out and getting the plasma rich protein. And we are depositing that, that uh, PRP into the plaque, into the area where the scarring has taken place to over time dissolve it. So we see how one P shot goes, then we, tr then we come back six weeks later and maybe do another P shot. And then you can sometimes need up to three P shots along with the pump. You gotta still do the pump. And with my protocol, I actually use traction because here's the thing, we can break the plaque up a lot. I'm, I'm sorry, I use shock, shock wave and, and traction. We can break up the plaque underneath it. Cause what's happening is it's scar tissue underneath the skin. So we use the, um, shock wave to break up the plaque. We can use the, uh, P shot to help facilitate the process of healing with the plaque. And we use the pump and the pump is basically kind of stretching it out every time. Because if you notice, if you've used your pump, it creates this vacuum suction. So it's kind of sucking it into the right direction. The problem is with some guys though, is that when they put that the, the pump on, it pulls it into the wrong direction. And instead of correcting it, it actually can sometimes make it worse. So you have to make sure that it is pulling the erection in the area that you want to straighten out, right? So if it's like this, you want it pulling up like this. Then the other part of that is if a guy can tolerate it, I give him some traction and he wears this, you know, for about, he's, we start out for 30 minutes a day. And so gradually the concept is if we can get him to wear an extender for uh, four to six hours a day, then what we're actually doing is during the day, he's got something that's pulling the traction. So imagine if you're curved like this, then what the traction is doing is taking that curve and straightening it out, but you got to wear it throughout the day, right? So they, some of them, some guys say they're uncomfortable. Some say they don't notice it. It really just kind of depends. And this is usually like a silicone, silicone 
medical grade band on it. That's just kind of stretching it out. So honestly, combining all of those things are the best way to treat Peronis and being patient because you start to see the changes gradually with Peronis and, and you start to see it straightening up um, in three to six months out from beginning. And I always say, try this conservative process first before you go under the knife for surgery, right? And so this one, this one that I always recommend if we're going to be doing this is the Pro Extender. And I've put a, a link below for that. A lot of guys use this for, for lengthening, you know, to try to make it the, their penises longer. Um, I mean, it's elastic tissue. I want you to think about your penis like you think about your earlobe. Um, you've, you've seen people, you know, stretch their earlobes out super far and super wide, right? Because it's elastic tissue. You can do the same with your erection. There are whole communities molding and reshaping their erection. The whole process of jelking and deer exercises has, have, have been used historically in ancient cultures to shape, remodel and reshape the head, of the head of the penis and reshape the penis in ways that they found um, suited women. So there's a lot of, um, you know, there's a lot of different things that can be done so that when you hear people saying, I have a cream that's going to make it bigger or I have a thing. Well, if there's no manual stuff involved with it, if there's no pumping or stretching involved with it or surgery, I really don't see how any of that stuff's going to work. So before you send me about some supplement you saw that's going to make it bigger, um, if, if you're not doing any type of mechanical traction, mechanical traction, weight loss, surgery, you know, those are the things that can make you a little bigger and thicker. Nowadays, though, we do have cosmetic, um, cosmetic penis therapies, right? You know, it makes sense, right? We got cosmetic breast stuff. We got cosmetic stuff for guys where they're actually, um, some doctors will put fillers in and uh, to, to, help, to help it look thicker. You know, so there, there's a lot of that going on too. So there, there are solutions for those of you who feel like it's so small and, you know, you, you, it, it's really chipping away at your life. There are doctors out there that will enhance without you necessarily having to do a major surgery. I, I, don't, I don't do that because I, I really don't like the idea of fillers being in penile tissue um, because long term, I'm not convinced that that's going to be a positive. Any guidance for hard facet syndrome and penile pain? Sure. Now, if you have penile pain, then oftentimes what that is, is undiagnosed peronies, the thing we were just talking about. And I find that guys who have little areas of their penis that are painful to touch, what we'll do is put a little lidocaine cream on first. Lidocaine numbs the skin, and then we will institute some shockwave. Now, it sounds counterproductive, right? Doc, they're already in pain. Now you're going to put that shockwave on there? Well, yes, because what we're doing with the shockwave is we are kind of reprogramming the nerves. We're reprogramming the nerves and the, the blood flow. And honestly, by visit two, I see a major reduction in penile pain um, in guys who come in. Because oftentimes what you can do is if you have penile pain, just take while your, your penis is flaccid or not erect and just start to, to push on it and see if you can locate a little nodule or a little thick area underneath the tissue. Um, and that is Peroni's until proven otherwise. Peroni's doesn't always manifest as a curve. Oftentimes it just shows up as pain, right? So, so I want to keep you to keep that in mind. 